recorded by Miss S. E. Waldo, a disciple. Monday, 8th July 1895 There is no place for reasoning in Madhva's explanation. It is all taken from the revelation in the Vedas. Ramanuj says, the Vedas are the holiest study. Let the sons of the three upper castes get the sutra, the holy thread, and at eight, ten, or eleven years of age begin the study, which means going to a guru and learning the Vedas word for word, with perfect intonation and pronunciation. Japa is repeating the holy name, through this the devotee rises to the infinite. This boat of sacrifice and ceremonies is very frail. We need more than that to know Brahman, which alone is freedom. Liberty is nothing more than destruction of ignorance, and that can only go when we know Brahman. It is not necessary to go through all these ceremonials to reach the meaning of the Vedanta. Repeating Om is enough. Seeing difference is the cause of all misery, and ignorance is the cause of seeing difference. That is why ceremonials are not needed, because they increase the idea of inequality, you practice them to get rid of something or to obtain something. Brahman is without action, Atman is Brahman, and we are Atman, knowledge like this takes off all error. It must be heard, apprehended intellectually, and lastly realized. Cogitating is applying reason and establishing this knowledge in ourselves by reason. Realizing is making it a part of our lives by constant thinking of it. This constant thought or dhyana is as oil that pours in one unbroken line from vessel to vessel. Dhyana rolls the mind in this thought day and night and so helps us to attain to liberation. Think always soham, soham, this is almost as good as liberation. Say it day and night. Realization will come as the result of this continuous cogitation. This absolute and continuous remembrance of the Lord is what is meant by bhakti. This bhakti is indirectly helped by all good works. Good thoughts and good works create less differentiation than bad ones, so indirectly they lead to freedom. Work, but give up the results to the Lord. Knowledge alone can make us perfect. He who follows the God of truth with devotion, to him the God of truth reveals himself. We are lamps, and our burning is what we call life. When the supply of oxygen gives out, then the lamp must go out. All we can do is to keep the lamp clean. Life is a product, a compound, and as such must resolve itself into its elements.